Hello and welcome. Any aircraft is vulnerable to bird strike. Just look what happened to an Airbus A320 that hit a flock of Canada geese in an incident known as the Miracle on the Hudson. To find out more about bird strike, I turn to the Aviation Safety Digest, which was published in Australia from 1953 to 1991. The 1986 issue had a story that is as true today as when it was written. There it said that in 1984, the Department of Aviation received 585 reports of bird strikes. Strikes are dangerous and also expensive. Have a look at these. In one incident alone in 1982, 1.5 million worth of damage was done to a Boeing 747 when it flew through a flock of pigeons at Melbourne Airport. The heaviest Australian birds that fly weigh in excess of 8 kilos, and these are the pelicans, swans, and bustards. Thank goodness that emus don't fly, as their weight is around 40 kilo. Yet, even a single bird at 500 gram is capable of destroying a jet engine. The bird with the longest wingspan is the wandering albatross, which has a span of 3.6 metres. I've never flown near a wandering albatross, but I did come close to a pelican in flight, and it seemed enormous. The first recorded bird strike accident occurred in 1912. A seagull got caught in an aircraft's control cables. The resulting crash killed the pilot. The longest migration route for any bird is that of the Arctic tern. Birds nesting in the Netherlands have had a round trip length of about 90,000 kilometres, the longest migrations known in the animal kingdom. This time spent airborne puts Arctic terns at risk of encounter with aircraft. Many small migratory birds fly at night, so never will be seen. Over 90 species of birds are known to have been struck by aircraft in Australia. Kites, hawks, gulls, plovers and galahs are the most commonly encountered. Birds will usually dive to avoid collision with aircraft. The impact force of a 2 kilo bird at 135 knots is 3.8 tonnes. Amazing. And that could ruin your day. Australian Airlines report one bird strike per 2,000 aircraft movements. 97% of reported bird strikes occur on or in the immediate vicinity of aerodromes. The greatest mass of birds hit by an aircraft in Australia were six swans, which was about 34 kilos in total. The highest recorded bird strike occurred at 37,000 feet. What about collision with other creatures? On the ground, collision with kangaroos, cattle, sheep, emus and rabbits is not unknown. Many isolated airstrips are unfenced and night landings always are a risk. What about hitting a snake at 3,000 feet, a chicken at 800 feet, a mouse at 8,000 feet, a flying squirrel at 5,000 feet? Yes, all of these have happened. I'm guessing that a bird flying with these catches dropped their meal when the aircraft approached. Finally, a story about testing an aircraft's windscreen for resilience from bird strike. In England, a chicken gun was first used in the mid-1950s at de Havilland's aircraft using chickens killed at a local farm. These were fired at the windscreen to test if it would hold up to bird strike. The results were encouraging. When the tests were repeated in America, there was failure with glass after glass broken. The Yanks accused the Brits of faking their results. The indignant Brits questioned the Yanks, who said, yes, they used dead chickens, and yes, these were purchased from the local supermarket, fresh from the freezer. Frozen birds shot from a chicken gun. Stay safe, and please like and subscribe to our channel to promote more content. Thank you so much.